and Devos, it's your girl. So today's video is just a really quick update on this wig that I made. And you know what? I chop up so many names. I'm I'm glad that my name is so simple and easy because I would probably mess that up. So I think it is pronounced Kayla hair or Kali hair. I'm really not sure. So from what I'm thinking, I think you pronounce it Kali hair. I'm really not sure. Kalei. Kayla hair or Kali hair, I'm really not sure. Um, or the K is pronounced, it's not pronounced, it's silent. Layai, Kayla, I'm not really sure, but either way, this is like the third video that I did with them. So the hair is a like a Jerry Curls, that's what they call it, Jerry Curl texture. And it is three bundles, two 22s, and a 20 inch and a 16 inch closure. Um, excuse me, frontal. I'm always saying closure, but it's a frontal. So I went ahead and I did bleach the knots of this frontal, and I also did bleach certain strands of it just to give it a little bit of oomph, you know what I'm saying? I didn't want it to be just a bland color. Color, but I also did pre pluck the hairline and this is the second time for me not the second time why am I lying but this is the second time on a curly wig that I made um, that I scalped it in one particular area so I did show you guys on the previous initial review that I did scalp this bad boy right here so how I've been wearing it is basically I will just gel it down but it is right here and I just lifted it up so you guys can see but normally what I would do is I would take like my hairspray or my mousse you guys know I use the salon selectives and the dollar which is from the Dollar Tree and the pump it up super hot oh, love it love it love it so I'll take a little bit of this and I'll just put it right here Get my sculpting brush because that's what I call this amazing toothbrush. And then I'll lay it with some heat, like a blow dryer or a hot curler, and some of my hairspray, and it stays hold like that with a rag on top with a scarf for like five minutes, and I'm good to go. Um, so it didn't really take too much away from the the look or the appearance of the wig but it was kind of disappointing because I did work super hard on the unit especially because I had to make it twice the first time that I made it the cap was too small so I had to take it all apart and remake it which was like hell um, but it is okay the second time when I made it, I actually used less hair probably like about this much less that's because I didn't sew the track so close. You don't really need them that close with this big hair because it can swell up. All you want to do is just put a little bit of conditioner water to it or some type of cream just to keep the curls from frizzing up and also to leave it with a nice lay. Um, I did cut some of the baby hairs into it and I also do have an elastic band that I sewed into it and now it has two combs. So prior to that, I only had one comb because I forgot to put the other one in. It was one right here, and then the other side was like, girl, where's my comb at? So it did shed when I first washed the wig. Like, it shed. Um, it shed. And I'm not sure if it's because I was pre-plucking the hair, and that was the first time for me to wash it. So, yeah, it did shed a lot um, because I did pre-pluck it. Also, I did use 40 Developer to bleach the knots of this frontal, and then I used 40 Developer just to give it a little bit of color. Plus, I also used some shimmer light just to make, take out any type of brassy tones that there may have been in the hair for the most part it did come out nice and I do like their products they have like super affordable hair I do this a lot to all of my wigs that I decide to lay down I do this because I don't have the ear tabs and this also helps it to lay but I don't use gel or or glue or tape on a normal daily basis to adhere my wigs these are the only two products that I use every day to adhere my wigs because it makes life so much easier to take them on and off it does look like it's stuck on because it actually is okay it actually is so this is easy for me to take on and off take off in the evening when I'm ready to go to bed if I choose not to sleep on it. However, I can definitely sleep on it. You would definitely want to use like a scarf or some type of thick elastic headband, a wide. I do have like a wide one that I use and I do have a video on how I sleep with my wigs and hopefully I'll remember and I'll post that down below for you guys. But for the most part, it did come out really nice. They have some nice hair. Um, It's very soft so you don't have to worry about that and it really actually doesn't frizz up like anything. Maybe because I use like a curling cream after I've rinsed out the conditioner just to keep it nice and moist 
and that helps with the frizz it just keeps it tamed which I do like and it is some big hair so they did send me like four bundles and I didn't use them all because this is big hair and you really don't want it too big I just wanted to keep it more or less like average like you know what I'm saying not too much of an abundance of hair and it still is big so when you have big hair like this you definitely don't want to sew the track so close because girl you will look like the the Lion King, okay? Um, but yeah, it's super easy to take off. And at the end of this video, I'll definitely show you guys how I remove it. Um, but for the most part, you can definitely check them out. I'll post all their information below along with the initial video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. Now for the best part. So all I do when I remove my wigs at night is I will take the combs out in the back. And then I will pull the elastic band up. If it has one. And because it's only mousse down, I just take my fingers and there we go. So that was super easy. Hair sprayed down and it doesn't get stuck in my hair. That's about it, you guys. So I'll see you on the next one. Stay diva and delicious. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, thumbs this video up. Tell me you love me as much as I love you guys. And I'll see y'all in a subsequent video.